So in summary, today's components have five core problems. They lack descriptive markup, so they're typically composed of mostly divs and spans. There's no standard, so each time you decide to choose a component library, you have to learn how the authors have chosen to structure their vision of reusable components. And since there's no way to encapsulate the styling for a given component, they suffer from style conflicts that require complex and verbose style sheets and class structures to avoid accidentally manipulating styles on pages. There's no native standard for defining client-side templates either, so each library defines their own approach, and we as developers resort to various proprietary approaches as well. Finally, there's no native way to bundle the HTML, JavaScript, and CSS that's necessary to build a component together into a single unit that we can include on the page with a single line of markup. You see the punchline coming. The great news is there is a solution, and the solution is HTML5 Web Components. Web Components are built using a combination of these four new technologies, templates, custom elements, the Shadow DOM, and HTML5 Imports. These are the four technologies that we'll explore throughout this course. Templates allow us to define inert reusable markup using web standards. We'll discuss templates in Module 2. Custom elements give us the power to extend HTML by defining our own elements. We'll explore custom elements in Module 3. The Shadow DOM provides encapsulation of our markup and our styling. The Shadow DOM is a huge topic, so I've split it up into three separate modules. Module 4 covers Shadow DOM fundamentals, Module 5 covers Shadow DOM insertion points and events, and Module 6 discusses the new CSS styling techniques that are related to the Shadow DOM. And finally, HTML5 imports support bundling HTML, JavaScript, and CSS files together into a single, simple, reusable package so we can easily deliver web components that we create. We'll cover imports in Module 7. These four technologies work together to create HTML5 web components and will be the focus of this course.